So what we have here is an earbud called Pamu Nano from a company called Pamu. It has a Bluetooth 5.0 and a Qualcomm aptX presentation at the front. It's a very minimalistic presentation um, actually and on the back side it also highlights that it has a touch button as well as most of the earbuds and the IPX6 waterproof certification included I presume and about six hours of music playback which I presume is just for the earbuds because if it includes the charging dock it's not really that good but I'm sure it is anyway the Qualcomm AP TX audio, I'm slightly familiar with it because I actually reviewed uh, the Inac Fire E90 unit from my previous video. It had a really, really good beat sound, but slightly weak uh, sound of the sharpness. So I don't know whether I have to adjust that for my phone, but for this particular video, I'm gonna actually make a sound comparison against my Google Pixel Buds 2, uh, because I consider this to be a good quality earbud. So I think that's gonna be a fair comparison. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. And the moment of truth, it slides out this way. Pamu Nano. Nice. And it opens this way. Rather nice sort of plastic cover. It's not paper-like, it's more like a plastic. And a nice white um, earbuds actually. So if we zoom right in, you can actually see this is Pamu there and I presume that's for when you make phone calls. Um, I think there's another dot here as a sensor maybe, I would assume. Quite a clever device actually, light, and where you charge an indicator right. It's like a smiley face, hello, kind of design. Kind of like an Apple, typical Apple product -y. Actually, it has a better quality, plastic quality case than the most of the uh, earbuds that I reviewed, which is really good. And that's quite clever, I like that. Um, so I presume this will go either way. Ah, this way actually, of course. Ah, so we, we got this bright battery light flashing. I like the design in the case, it's really nice actually. And um, that's almost like a, ah. I thought it was a sort of like a, you know, certain kind of a see-through thing, but it actually has a hole to reflect the charging light. I love the design. It's a better quality. Um, one grade up or a couple of grades up comparing to the previous earbuds that I reviewed. Ah, nice pouch. Thank you very much. I will cherish that. And also the um, manual. Okay. And I presume, ah, so that's just the clip of indicating what sort of earbud cover that you need. Perfect size for your ears. And lastly, this is, people, what is it? The USB-C, okay? So I actually read from the user manual that Pamu Nano actually has a wireless charging capability as well. So let's actually put it onto the Google Pixel charging dock. So here it goes. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Should we zoom in? It's quite well done, isn't it? It actually goes well because it's both white as well. But obviously, if you don't have the wireless uh, devices as, at all, then you could always plug into your USB-C cabling slot here. But I like the quality, it's nice weight as well. The plastic is really good, I have to say. Okay, so for pairing, you turn on the Bluetooth and um, you'll see Pamu Nano actually popping up here, but I believe you have to take out your right hand uh, earbuds and you can actually hear the sound saying that it's pairing. So why don't I just take out both to make sure it's actually paired. And um, I believe that's paired. So for the moment of truth, let's actually try on the earbuds, shall we? So, says so power on. Very sharp female voice saying connected. That's really good. Okay, that's impressive. And also, it's the uh, shape is fits really well to my ears as well, and you hardly feel any weight on it, which is really good. This is very promising. So. Let's play the Southern Soul by Vendredi, which is a no copyright music available from Audio Library. So here it goes. Oh. 
Okay. No blurries whatsoever. The clapping sound is really strong and good. Oh, the beat sound is really good. That's very good. This is a pass, definitely a pass. But we're actually building up the music, so... Wow. Okay. Yeah, this sharpness is really good. The trumpet sound is, is crisp. It actually feels like it's blown in front of your face. Amazing. Wow. Especially, I'm really happy with the shape of the earbuds. You don't really feel, it almost feel like you don't have anything on your ears. So it's kind of eerie feeling actually. Amazing. And that clap sound. Oh, the beat is really good. I have to say. I'm really starting to like this earbuds actually. This is, it just makes a lot of sense. Wow. Okay, the trumpet sound is getting stronger. Yeah. This is very good. Amazing. All right, so this time what we have is uh, the Pixel Buds to connect to my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and my Pamo Nano actually connected to the iPhone 12 Pro as well. So let's play the same track, which is a Southern Soul. So here it goes. They're actually the same track now. Okay. Same speed. Okay, that's very interesting. It's almost the same. Um, they're virtually the same sound. Actually, the sharpness of the trumpet is stronger on the Pamunano. That's amazing. So yeah, definitely the strong, sharp sound is stronger on this side, on the Pamu Nano. Everything is clearer, about 10 to 20% clearer for the Pamu Nano compared to the Pixel Buds 2. Amazing. What about the beats? Yeah, here it comes. I think the beats are on the same level, but probably the sharpness of the Pamunano is stronger. It makes it feel like the, it's just overall, Pamunano's sound is better. It's really, oh, that's, I'm really blown away with this actually. Wow. So the overall thought is that I'm kind of blown away with it actually because Pamu Nano, I'm sure it's actually 50 US dollars in the market, while as Google Pixel Buds 2 is 120 US dollars or 130 US dollars when I bought it. And um, I know the weight wise, there's more weight and very interesting case, a uh, finish case, and that Pixel Buds 2 actually have this like really fancy function where if there's a baby cry sound or beep sound horn sound uh the sound will actually automatically go down so you can play around with all these functions and there's going to be upgrades and so on i know all of, all of that but in the end it's about the sound and we know that pamu nano actually has this qualcomm aptx sound system that seems to be uh, definitely an improvement to pixel buds 2 and um the way how i would like to summarize again with direct comparison is that it has a much sharper sound. I would say 10 to 20%. Uh, because of that, the beats, even though it seems to be in the same level, the overall sound, even the beat sounds much better because of the harmony itself. 
if that makes sense that is and um yeah i really didn't expect that at all so well done pamela for that regards to the comfort level the um pixel buds 2 has this uh rubbery bit that sticks out in the back we all know that if you don't fit that properly, you know, in a few hours, it kind of hurts. You have to readjust that and so on. But there's no worries on the Pamo Nano on that side because of the shape of the heart. It actually fits quite well. And um, you, because it's light, you hardly feel like you're actually wearing earbuds. But your brain will remind you because when you actually hear the surrounding sound, it's a bit blurred out a bit, isn't it? So that's how you realize there's an earbud. So it's a perfect fit indeed as well. So on a long-term use, it's definitely going to be Pam and Nano gonna, that is way more comfortable to wear. Uh, the only thing I want to point out is that when I actually take out the earbuds and try to fit in, I kind of trying to get used to which way you fit it around and it took me a while initially but once you train yourself it's fine and i think the way how it's actually fitted into the charging case you have to make sure you fit it properly but i think um, when you close the lid it will actually automatically readjust that for you as well um, but i have to say it's just yeah i mean why would a 50 us dollar earbud sound better than 120 or 130 us dollar uh, brand a well-known brand earbuds and we got a typical example here and Pamela has done well for themselves for this so anyhow I hope this video clarify how good this earbud is and um, if you have any queries please do comment below thank you very much for watching this video this is LGP Tech all the best bye bye